Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here. Let's talk some mountain weather. First off, it is a beautiful, sunny, clear day here in Colorado. The view from Loveland Ski Area. I mean, obviously we need more snow, but it's going to be a pretty dry stretch. But I do have some activity down the road, probably on or after 1118 for Colorado. But we'll talk about a few things in this. Here are my uh, bullet points. So we'll talk about the failed California snow pattern. What once looked like it was going to be a significant snow for California is no longer. Um, and there are a couple of factors. One of them just is a lack of atmospheric river moisture. When we were pumping up those big totals, you know, three, four, five days ago, it looked like there was going to be uh, a significant uh, atmospheric river contribution. That is not the case now. But that low, that trough of low pressure that will move through California and then get ejected will grease the skids. And the pattern beyond that, on or after 1118 through probably 1122, 1123, looks pretty active for uh, the Pacific Northwest, BC, and even the Northern Tier, dropping all the way down into Utah and Colorado, as you'll see in the forecast. So it, it does play a role, even though it's a failed snow for, for California, it does play a role down the road as greasing the skids. Um, so yeah, looking at uh, the two additional lows and the more robust jet pattern. So all that will come into play. Let me take you back here and just show you what this uh, looks like right now on uh, this is water vapor. So you can see, I mean, this is a big area of low pressure, big trough, right? So what's going to happen is it's going to sink down and it's going to sit in here for a while and spin and it will send little waves of moisture in but nothing significant nothing like what it looked like three or four or five days ago and then eventually I mean, it's just kind of a poor trajectory trough trajectory because then eventually the low will get kicked out and probably move fast through the southern tier and then move away but behind it it will create a vacuum and those two additional lows will move in behind it setting us up for what looks to be an active period let me just give you a, uh, a look at it here on the forecast radar and satellite. So that's the current uh, situation. This is tomorrow morning. Here we are Monday afternoon. It's a very slow moving trough, a little pressure here. comes starting to bring in the moisture. There it is through the day on Tuesday in California. But notice it it is not robust and it sends in little waves of moisture. A little bit of snow here and there. And then it moves into the interior. There we are on 11, 16, 11, 17. You can see it moving through the southern tier. Look at that. So it will produce some snow um, through parts of Utah, Colorado as it gets ejected, but we're not talking about anything significant until probably 1118 or after once we start getting some more involvement with that uh, the energy coming out of the Pacific Northwest. So let's just uh, look at the jet pattern here. Um, so here it is on 1115, and that's when that big trough is sitting off the coast of California. Uh, but again, just lacks the moisture. It's kind of ragged and uh, the trajectory of the trough not optimal. So here's the uh, jet for 1120. Now once that low moves away, new pattern establishes itself out of the west northwest. It's got cold air, looks like good jet support and good moisture with two areas of low pressure uh, traveling that jet being pushed along. So that could really help uh, uh, generate some snow when you factor in all of those uh, things. So here's the the forecast period number one through 1116 and there's just not a lot there. You know there's just not a lot there. Most of it's up in British Columbia and the Banff area. Now period two is more impressive obviously. Um, you can see what happens. I mean the Pacific Northwest, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, a much more generous pattern here assuming we get that powerful jet out of the west northwest we get the cold air and we get two areas of low pressure at least that will slide down this thing for some lift if we can get all of that then it's possible we crank out totals like this it's so far down the road of course none of this is you know confidence isn't as high as it'll be a couple of days from now but this is the way it looks right now it's just amazing you know when you think back to that california forecast three four five days ago and how things have changed uh, but there we go that's the reality of the situation take care guys always appreciate you tuning in here